Seven years, seven years ago today, I uploaded my first video to YouTube and it's been quite the journey. So first of all, I wanna say thank you to everyone who's shown their support from the OGs who have been there since 2011 and watched all my horrible videos to those who might have recently stumbled across myself and my channel. I appreciate all of you guys. Actually, let's, let's take a second and cringe at the first video I've ever uploaded to YouTube. I'll play a quick clip from that for you guys. Stop making excuses. Stop saying you're gonna do it tomorrow. Don't push it off any longer. Just do it and you will not be disappointed. I promise you that. Yeah, that was pretty painful to watch. But what I did was I made a few notes about some things that I wanna to touch on and tell you guys what I've been doing during my little break from YouTube. So I'm gonna run through these things and I'll play some footage on the screen for you guys so you don't have to just watch me sit here and talk and I'll catch you up to speed on everything that's been going on. But what I'll do real quick is show you a video that I posted on Instagram and that will give you an idea of some of the content that I post on there. So now let's bring you up to speed on everything that's been going on. So first off, I mentioned in a previous video before I took this break from YouTube that my buddy Carlos and I, who's helped me shoot a bunch of videos on this channel, we actually started a company called Modern Sync where we do photo and video work. And he has a lot of experience in the film and video industry. And in the last few months together, we've actually gotten a lot more business than we anticipated. And we've been doing individual work such as photo shoots and highlight edits to shooting weddings and working with local gyms. And we've also done some event coverage for companies like Dropbox and AT&T. So that's been keeping us really busy. And although coaching is still my full-time job and will always be my number one priority, I believe it's important to do other things that you enjoy. And if you can create a revenue stream from it, I say, why not at least try it out? Next up, I've gotten a lot of questions about Long Island Barbell Club, which is the gym that I partnered up on last year and what's been going on with that. So for those unaware, it was actually an open gym and a CrossFit facility, and I was running the open gym portion of it because I wanted to have a space where people could come and lift the way they wanted to because I've been kicked out of way too many gyms for bringing the camera and tripod in there, which is understandable, maybe deadlifting too loud or using chalk. So the things that a lot of people or a lot of gyms won't allow, I wanted to create a space where people can do that without getting in trouble. But I'm actually no longer a part of that. So initially things were going great and we had a very successful grand opening, but we had a very different vision of where we wanted to take the gym. So it was a huge business risk, but ultimately a decision that I felt like I had to make and I learned a lot in the process. So unfortunately that didn't work out as planned, but I do wish him nothing but the best with his CrossFit business and the success of that. So I know there are a lot of people out there who wanna run a gym or start a business, but my recommendation, my advice is do not jump into anything too quickly and learn from me and just be smart about it before you make a big decision like that. All right, next up, I think I showed her one time on the channel, but I do have a dog, Gigi. Brittany and I got a puppy last year and she's been keeping us really busy, all three pounds of her. So she's about eight months old now. And a couple of months ago, she actually broke her leg, but that's all healed up now and she's doing good. And I haven't gotten her into the gym yet because she's still young, but she's been keeping us young, keeping us busy, and she's been a lot of fun. So I'll be showing more of her on the channel as well. Now, a little bit about my training. I'll be sharing more of that with you guys here on the channel in future videos, but to give you just a recap of everything, I've been not only working my ass off in the gym, but I've been a lot smarter with how I train. So I've mentioned this before and I've, you know, I've made a full YouTube series on it, but I've dealt with on and off lower back pain for a while now. And 95% of the time, my lower back feels fine, but it could just be from sleeping wrong and I could wake up and be in pain. So I have to auto-regulate my training based on how I feel. And since I'm 30 years old now and I wanna keep lifting for years, I have to be a lot smarter with my lifting. So that might mean choosing exercises that feel good for me at the time, but still allow me to make progress. So 
Think of squats and deadlifts and bent over rows. Anything that could possibly aggravate my lower back have been sidelined until I feel more comfortable to work them back in. But I'll share more of this with you guys in future videos and let you know what I'm doing on maybe days where I do have a flare up in my lower back, how you could train around that and be smart about your approach to training with any kind of an injury. So I'll cover more of that because I do get a lot of questions on training with an injury, how to get into the right mindset and not just sit home and really just complain that you're injured because there is something that you can be doing. So I'll share that with you guys. Uh, what else? As for coaching, I do want to give a quick shout out to a few of my clients who competed this year, two of them which were here on Long Island at the Long Island Championships. And this is an NPC show, so it's an untested show, but both of my clients competed naturally in men's physique and brought home some hardware. So. For my client, Chris, it was his first show ever and he placed in both novice and open. And then Carlos took second place in a stacked class of 13 or 14 competitors. And he only lost to someone who went on to win their pro card the following week. So they put in the work. Uh, Carlos is local to me. We trained together throughout his entire prep. So I was there to watch him grind. And it was just, it was inspiring for me to get the opportunity to train with him and bring his best package to the stage. Uh, in addition to that, uh, my client, Rourke, who actually has a YouTube channel as well, I'll link that down below if you guys wanna check him out. He competed at the Summer Shredding Classic in Texas, which was the event hosted by Christian Guzman and Alphalete. And initially we worked together just to help him get lean and to feel better about himself, but he called me up one day and told me that he wanted more and he actually wanted to commit to the stage. And he's actually never been to the States before, but he bought a plane ticket, he flew over from Ireland and spent a week in Texas, and then he got on stage and actually won first place in the transformation contest which was, I mean, it was incredible to watch. And it was an absolute honor to work with someone as dedicated and disciplined as he was. And just to watch him overcome the struggles and the obstacles left and right was truly inspiring. So I suggest checking out his channel so you can hear more about his story. And I think that's pretty much it for now. You know, I just wanted to give you guys all a quick rundown on what's been going on with me. And I wanted to take some time to reflect and observe and see what was going on in the fitness community as an outsider. And that's got me excited to come back and continue to create content for you guys like I've been doing for the last seven years. So with that said, since it's been a while since I've uploaded a YouTube video, I know YouTube's been having a ton of issues with you know, your video showing up in the subscription feed, getting unsubscribed from different channels or subscribe to channels you don't even know. I've heard that happen before. But if you want to be notified when I do upload a video, somewhere on the screen, I don't know where it is, there's a notification bell. Click that so you can get notified when I do upload. And that's pretty much it. So I'm excited to uh, continue to create, continue to continue creating. You guys know what I mean. I'm going to make more videos for you all. But uh, thank you again for the support. I really do appreciate that. If there's anything you want to ask me or know, drop a comment down below. All my information and social media links and everything is in the description box right below this video. So check that out and I will talk to you guys in the next video.